hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey hello welcome to the channel and please don't forget to kindly subscribe on this channel so you guys in today's video i'm just going to be doing girl with, with me and uh q and a so i'm doing q and a and get it with me i got these q and a questions from one of american youtuber that i've been following since since i was 18 um i've seen her growth child like i like her so much so i took her q a questions because i feel like i can relate in so many things that she spoke about on that q a so i was like let me just use her questions because obviously um i don't have much follower on my social media so i can't ask people but i haven't tried i will have to try and see but for now i'm just going to be using here q and a's while i'm doing a good with, with me so today i'm not going to much place like that and i don't want to have like full face um makeup because the plan is to like i just finished taking shower i haven't even torn my face it's just that I'm rushing to go somewhere. Okay, so you guys, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Kindly like and subscribe. So you guys, um, I don't really like to put prime on these things when I'm doing my makeup. So let's get started, man. Let's get started. So the first question from her Q and A says, uh, "Are you seeing someone?" So. Of course, I'm seeing someone. You guys know I've been talking about my laughing partner for quite long now. So, yeah, I'm seeing someone. My laughing partner, definitely. And then, I'm not sure if you guys are hearing me nicely because the way is so hot. Obviously, I can't film in this heat, so I switch on the fan. But I'll try to, you know, speak a little bit louder so that you guys can hear me. So, the first, the first question was, are you seeing someone? Yes, I'm, I'm seeing someone. And then the next question is... Okay, this question says, are you seeing someone? If yes, are you planning to take the relationship to the next level? Are you seeing someone? If yes, are you planning to take the relationship to the next level? Yes, I'm seeing someone. But I'm not sure if I want to take things to the next level as yet. Not even as yet. Because, I mean, when you take things to the next level, obviously now we are dating. Um next level could be committed yes we are committed but maybe next level to get married or engaged i don't want to play with stuff like that you guys one thing about me i don't want to play with stuff like that because i don't see myself having kids do you understand i just realized that about me that i actually don't need kids i actually don't want to have kids i actually don't like kids so taking relationship to next level with someone who will want kids no i don't want kids shame i don't want to lie I'm even scared of um being resp responsible for someone else life being responsible for a whole being human being i mean no i'm not sure not like i'm not sure i don't want kids that's one thing i know about myself i don't want kids and yeah then the next question says do you believe in love uh one thing about me i would say i believe in love when there's money if you have money then yes why not do you understand i'm not trying to say people who doesn't have money they don't deserve to be in love or they don't deserve to be loved they do but i don't think they deserve my own <laughs> love sorry i feel like in this right now we have to be more transparent as to what we want because even niggas are not serious these days so you can't just waste like you can't just waste your time your energy invest in the wrong things do you understand because even them especially now especially that i'm dating this my Nigerian guy you're probably gonna go and maybe get married to his a girls of course in Navela don't want to be married with one reason they want your kids so and I'm sure he likes kids he always with his nieces and nephews yeah, 
So he will probably want to have kids. Nah, nah, all the shame. I don't see myself having kids. I don't like kids. That whole thing, mommy, mommy, it's so annoying to even listen to. So yeah. So if you don't have money, you want to date me. You can't even be able to take care of my few needs. And people who doesn't have money, they always, they always angry because they're going through financial frustrations. So you can't be having those financial frustrations. Who was keeping me? Do you understand? So now I'm out. No, if you don't have money, I don't believe in your love. So to be quite honest with you, I don't even believe in love. So if you know where I'm coming from, then you definitely understand why I don't believe. I don't believe. Okay, the next question is how many friends you have? I don't have much friends. I don't have much friends because I don't want to give people that privilege of knowing me like that. Because even my friends, they don't even know me like that. And I'm okay with that because why should you know me? Why should you know me? Yeah, so I do have friends and we don't even talk every day. We don't meet every day and I'm okay with that. I'm someone that really respect people's time because i respect my time too i don't want to be mingle if there's no need i do have friends but we, we are not together most of the time and then the next question is how is the relationship with your parents okay i guess with my mom because my father passed away the same day I was born. So, uh, I will say, my relationship with my mom is not that strong. But now that I'm, I'm old, I'm getting old, I know how to express myself. So, I feel like we are getting much better when it comes to relationship-wise. Okay, and then let's move to the next step, which was, and then um, the next question says, how long have you been to America? Well, we can skip that because you know I'm in South Africa, right? But I am seeing myself being in those countries. If you follow me, if you listen to attentively when I do these my YouTube videos, you will know how vapid I am about traveling. So, and then the next question is, how is the relationship with your family? With my family? <laughs> the relationship with my family, it's so old enough. Like, it's something that I don't think it even exists. Yeah, it's something that doesn't even exist. Okay, and then when are you planning to get married? Okay, I'm not sure if I want to get married, you guys. Not unless I'm getting married to someone who already has kids, old man that already has kids, who's not gonna pressurize me, you know, and we should be having that conversation we do it now i'm not planning to have kids so that we don't waste each other's time you understand so if i would get married to someone who's okay with not having kids or already has kids with somebody else then i'm all in and i'm all in shape what is your take into these relationships i'm not sure if you guys are hearing me let me switch off this thing so the next question is what is my take in this uh nowadays relationships <laughs> oh child listen <laughs> what i will say about nowadays relationship is that they push it They are bullshits. It's brutal. 
because the reason why I'm saying that is because girls they just don't think about themselves. Girls they don't think about themselves when they love people, when they love someone, they just want to invest and they don't even think anymore. I feel like that's not Nolunsu. That's not me. That's why I <sighs> That's why I, now I just want to have money in a relationship. If I don't get money, then what are we doing? What are we doing? Do you understand? Yeah. What are we doing? If you're not paying me money, <laughs> what are we doing? My sister, I don't get that side of my soul. Like, at all. I feel like guys are not serious these days. I've been saying this. Niggas are not serious. And they don't deserve my time at all. My own time? Sis, listen. Yeah. So, my take is that relationships are brutal. And if you don't know what you want and you are in today's relationships, my sister, be careful. You are stranded. Okay, I will just let that sit while I'm going for my brows because this whole thing of doing my brows after the whole full uh, face beats, I am not sure about that. I don't think I even want it. Okay. The next question says, how is your relationship with your extended family? Okay, Americans, what is extended family? I mean, my cousins? My cousins. No, guys, one thing about my family, ne? I don't have good relationship with my cousins. I don't have good relationship with my cousins. Because they literally made my life a hell. When I was young, I was helpless. I didn't even know what to do. I was, I was just something else. So now that I'm old, I'm literally working on myself. I don't even have time for them. When I see, because I normally go and see my mom when she's working. So sometimes they come and see mom, you see? So that's how I get to see them. Other than that, I've never really planned a date to meet them because I don't think I even want to see them. So when I see them, sometimes I will be like, try to be helpful there and there. But deep down, I haven't forgotten how they used to make me feel back in the days. So my relationship with them, child, listen, Mm, no, mm -mm. no more. And then, um, how's the relationship? What? Okay, I've already answered the questions. I, I mixed the questions. Okay, do you believe in love? Okay, that that is, that is the next question. Do I believe in love? I think I answered that. I said no. No, I don't believe in love. I don't believe in love. Aha, uh -huh. what makes you start a YouTube? Okay. What makes me start a YouTube, you guys? It's because I've, I've okay, first of all, I've been meaning to have a YouTube channel long time ago. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was actually waiting. I've been meaning to start my YouTube channel since, but, but I believe in perfect timing. I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, but I, I've been, I, I'm someone that believed that, okay, it wasn't the right time. But the reason why I started a YouTube, to be quite honest with you, it's because I'm someone that believes that my life would, would be okay in a way that no one will ever believe that this is where I'm coming from, okay? So I want people to always come back and see me where I'm coming from so that they don't think... I had things easily do you understand I also want to like create to document my life so that one day I will always look back and be like wow did I make this far and be able to be proud of myself because right now I do have photos of me back in the days when I was trying to make change in my life when I was a pilot student, when I was um, hustling in places in Joburg and Pretoria, 
in Japan. Do you understand? And those photos sometimes I use them because of maybe my phone will be spoiled or something. But one thing I will never use, lose is my YouTube account. Do you understand? So I want to be always coming back to my YouTube and look and look back and be like, wow, I made it this far. Just me myself. No anybody's help do you understand so that's really the reason why because you guys i believe that the universe is watching what i went through the universe is watching so i really and i really had to get something you know out of out of all my hard working and uh, it's it's cool and all that you know, one thing about me you guys i do pray not that i believe I do pray, not that I don't believe in myself that I will make it. No, 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 no. Prayer is important. I do believe. But at this one time, I was so angry with God that I lose the bursary thingy in aviation. But I understand everything happened for a reason. Maybe I was gonna have a, maybe I was gonna crash with an aeroplane one of the day. Do you understand? Because maybe God is not planning me to die in that way uh so yeah i was mad at god back in the time but now i feel like whatever it's okay um you know this life thing is not easy yeah i i created this youtube thing just so that i'll be able to document my life and so that i'll be able to be proud of myself with how far i've gone because like i said i do see myself going to america one day or not america but overseas abroad i do see myself going to places i see i do see myself accomplishing accomplishing things do you understand so i must be able to go back in videos like this and be like wow i used to stay I do see myself becoming something child not because I love the course that I'm doing or I'm hoping that no I'm someone that believes in hustling you know I'm studying years but when I travel to Af to abroad I'm not sure if I'm gonna be working as a chemical engineer as I'm doing chemical engineering because it's not even something that I'm passionate about do you understand? I'm not passionate about being a pilot. I mean, I, I, even being a pilot, I'm no longer passionate anymore because I feel like that puts so much pain in me. I'm depressed now because of uh, being of that pilot thing. I experience so much breakdown, depression because of that. Do you understand? So something that will cost me. I know nothing really comes easy that I write it, but it shouldn't cost my mental healthy at all. And it shouldn't cost me like that. I'm not someone that cries, but if I cry, trust me, that's not right. And whosoever that him, you know what? I don't want to kiss people. So the next question is, why do you prefer old men than people at your age when it comes to dating or relationship <sighs> okay as for me it's because i believe that it's always those people that has money that i can be able to you know benefits in being in a relationship with than people at my age imagine dating someone who's 25 what imagine so yeah that's number one number two i'm trying to see if i can be able maybe to get married to someone who's dead because mind you people that are old already has kids yeah but for someone who is like me who doesn't want to have kids not because i don't want to be pregnant i just don't want to i just don't want to have kids so those old people they already have kids yeah that's the main reason so i want to first experience if i can be able to date them are they gonna really make me want to try? like i are they really gonna 
rock this whole thing of relationship couples and all that so the person that i dated when i was in joe back Kulube, i did two story times about him yeah uh when it comes to <laughs> bedtime bedroom time he was you know so that's the reason why man i prefer people that are older than me and i feel like um they are not boring at all especially when they know what they're doing they know their story then i'm okay yes would you date someone who's younger than you definitely no uh would you ever date a married man again well, i date a married man again not dates but i can get married because i feel like dating i don't i don't think so but i can get married dates alone no but dates with the intentions of getting married yes i can uh it's as long as he knows how to manage time and as long as i'm not gonna be bold in that marriage you know as a young wife maybe or oh, as long as i have my own peace of mind maybe let's say i'm having my own house i'm staying in my own place i get why not yeah as long as the person has his own child and they don't want to have kids anymore yes i do about brows shame they taking their own time like that's why i don't want to do brows on camera Okay, yeah, my again doing brows on camera. Okay, okay, I feel like I'm lacking this whole thing of doing brows when my makeup is on because it's so much easier. It's so easy because I don't want to lie. Okay, so we're done with brows. Okay, the next question How many? What is the comfortable gap when it comes to age? gap in their relationship i want my man to be like 15 years old than me because i'm so stubborn i believe in myself and i believe in what i think is right so when someone is old i feel like i can always give them that respect that you are old so i must listen to you so yeah because with my previous relationship with this old man he was always right you know? was only right whatever he says they turn up the, the most as greatest ideas ever so in as much as i feel like he likes me more than i like him he believes that i'm someone that is smart but i think he was more smarter i'm talking about the businessman here i'm talking about um and okay okay cool. right he was very smart very kind he was very kind people that works for him they literally cried when he was closing his companies and going back to nigeria but now he's in america in Houston. we spoke but i want my man to be 10 years at least minimum older than me you understand so this is the translucent powder that i'm applying on i'm not really baking as you can see yeah how much do you want to be a celebrity in your life <laughs> wow okay how much do i want to be a celebrity in my life i don't want to be a celebrity but i want to be recognized do you understand i don't want to be a celebrity because i believe being a celebrity you need to be an actress you need to be a singer you need to be something along those lines and i don't think i want to be an actress i think about me i always see myself as someone that needs to come up with something strong something you know so i can't be an actor like an actress like duh not me yeah so i want to be recognized because i feel like i do have ideas i do have i can play a very vital role in people's life 
it's just that i don't even know how to talk not like talk but to experience to express myself sometimes that's the only problem that i'm having with myself otherwise if i can be given an opportunity to be seen then i can heal a lot of broken and helpless people because i feel like people they are think they think they are helpless when they are not because if there's a person that needs to be helpless in this life it has to be me and i'm not helpless you guys can see i'm still hustling till today to better my life there are people that are coming from somewhere there are people that has a strong people uh support system but they are hopeless they just don't want to try anymore which is wrong okay so yeah i don't want to be a celebrity but i want to be recognized that's what i can say uh why do i choose chemical engineering than any other things that i could choose after aviation thing didn't work out okay mind you this question is from me to me okay the reason why i choose chemical engineering it's because first of all i didn't choose chemical engineering let me just put it that way but i was just out of options and i didn't know what else i could do with my life so i find myself in a university doing chemical engineering but after because the one thing about me I'm, I'm too smart i do a whole research about things but with chemical engineering i didn't do research because i found myself doing chemical engineering i don't know how but with chemical engineering i feel like as i'm someone that really believes in skincare products i can Come up with my own skincare product not like someone who doesn't do who didn't do chemical engineering cannot you know Kim Kardashian they're having their own skincare and they don't know anything about meds or science but I feel like if now I do my own skincare I will know what is it that I want to I will know the ingredients that I want to be mixed in that skincare line of mine to be more effective and helpful to people because it's not like there's nothing for stretch marks there is but just because people are not really willing to share ideas people we can see that people are not really comfortable with their stretch marks so there should be a solution and these people they don't want to come up with solutions because they have enough money to go and remove those stretch marks from uh skin doctors uh plastic thingies plastic surgery and not everyone has that money do you understand but you can buy a, a, a lotion or cream so that's number one thing that makes me makes me happy about being in chemical engineer field number one number two another thing that makes me happy about being in this field is that i can as you all know africa it's a it's a it's a land of mineral resources natural mineral resources so with chemical engineer i can find myself working in those big industries industry industry in the industrial industrials yeah especially in nigeria mr dangode he just built I think the, the the construction is still under the uh, the, the build. What am I saying? But his company is still under constructions. By the time I graduated, definitely do be, you know, somewhere. That's where I'm heading to. Yeah, well, in as much as I want to go outside of the continent, but I need to experience Nigeria life working as a chemical engineer in his companies yeah well, so that's why i'm saying a recognition that i need to be recognized i don't care about being celebrity because people are celebrating and they are making stupid decisions they so it's really not about being a celebrity or being an ordinary person it's a big it's being it's about being smart yeah well, okay do I see myself having my own companies? It's not easy like that in aviation. In, I keep on saying about aviation, I don't know why. It's because that aviation thing hurts me. 
Okay, cool. And then let's quickly bounce. Okay, do I see myself having my own company? Probably. Yes. But it's not that easy, you guys. Thing of company is not something that you can just wake up and be like, I want to have my own company. It's not easy like that. It's not, it's really not easy like that. And then, uh, do I see myself having a company? It's not that easy, but yes, and my company will be basically on industrial. And then I'm actually planning to do industrial engineering, maybe in TUT, Tuana University or DUT. I'm not sure, but I just don't want to be in KZN anymore. I don't want to see myself being in case it in a game. A game. Why? I don't know. I don't like kids it in. I've been in case it in for many, many years since I was in high school. So, and I feel like I just don't like the mentality of people in kids it in. Well, Jesus, I'm telling you. One thing about blending with the sponge, you need to blend, like you need to, it takes a lot of energy to blend and it's what you need the most is to blend. Yeah, I get a blender this up. Wow, sponge. Guys, let me pop my lashes off camera, right? Because this video is all long, it's already 20 rand. 20 rand, I'm about to pop them on. <laughs> Don't, don't go crazy, right? Because once I have these lashes on, <laughs> I will be snatched. I feel like let me apply my blush today so that I will have that pinkish going on. What y'all think? Let's apply the blush. Guys, I just finished the today's look. I uh, will just do two more questions, then we are done. I just wanted to quickly put the lashes on, pop my brows. I mean, I just wanted to quickly pop my lashes on and overlay my lips. One thing right now, I feel like I'm getting old, so this whole thing of trying to have overlying lips are no longer fascinating me like that. So I feel like my lips they need to be like this now, what days from, from now on. Because they look so real. If you can see how I'm looking and how I'm liking my makeup to look like Charles. So those of you who've been complaining that I'm always doing one of the same makeup, look at my lashes, look at my uh my eyeshadow. Hey you guys, thank you so much, man. I hope you enjoy this short QA from this American YouTuber and please don't forget to like and kindly subscribe on this channel I'm gonna be giving you good read with me if you enjoy it and please comment down below on the comment section and let me know what more you would like to see from my channel from now on and thank you guys so much man bye